All right, gang. Uh, we've uh, learned uh, to a to a point uh, the Innova techniques. So now it's time to just step back and and take a look at how we would present the results. Uh, I think most of this should be pretty obvious now because there's not going to be a lot of deviation from uh, the two sample t test and and some of the other things that we've done. But let's just run uh, through this. Uh, so, <clears throat> and I'm not going to read this to you. But uh, you should follow something pretty close to this. Uh, the introductory paragraph, uh, I just uh, described to the reader what I did. I say a one-way ANOVA techniques uh, examined the difference in mean quiz scores out of 50 points across three professors. So just, just frame the, uh, the problem and be pretty, uh, pretty clear with that. Uh, next thing I do is I... I just dive into a presentation of checking the assumptions. Uh, the second paragraph, I uh, present the results of the uh, ANOVA analysis, uh, including the um, uh, effect size and describe it. Uh, and then I uh, just put a, a few descriptive statistics in a box plot uh, so people can get a look at, uh, at what what's what's up with the sample now uh when we have a balanced design the uh i mean you should always include the uh sample size for each in this case professor uh, and the percentage um it's not as exciting when we have a balanced design but an, uh, in an unbalanced design we definitely would need that information and I always include the mean standard deviation and the min and the max. You can you can include the IQR. You can include the confidence interval. Some people include the standard error. Um, you know, just just whatever turns you on there. I just uh, I think this gives me a measure of center. This gives me a measure of spread. And then the min and the max is always something I always uh, like to uh, see. Uh, next thing is the multiple comparison, the post hoc. Uh, notice that I state for instructors A and B and B and C. So it's a pairwise comparison and a pairwise presentation. Uh, so I like to report the difference, uh, even though, even though uh, you can get that from the table by eyeballing it. Uh, it's... Uh, I, I don't know. At this point, I just like to uh, report the difference. Uh, state the level of significance if it uh, applies. The 95% confidence interval <coughs> and hedges G, uh, which is the effect size. Um, I went ahead and uh, also included, uh, even though it was not significant. Now, I only had three groups here. Now, imagine having seven groups and only two pairwise comparisons being uh, uh, statistically significant. I probably wouldn't uh, describe the other five here. Uh, in fact, uh, if I had seven groups, I may be inclined to bring in another uh, table, uh, something like this with the comparison. You know, do a comparison, you know, A to B, B to C, and then do a difference and you know something something like that i may be inclined to do that i wouldn't go into a lot of you know if i if i had seven groups i wouldn't uh, go into that uh, let's see what, what what's going on here uh i have no earthly idea i must have been working on something else uh well that's extremely strange okay I have no idea. <clears throat> uh, note to self, don't include uh, information from, uh, I must be working with one of my master's thesis students. Uh, but anyway, note to self, don't include results from another study uh, in your results. All right, gang, that's all I got. Uh, I, I've demonstrated all of this uh, in previous videos. So just wanted to give you an idea of how we uh, present the results. All right, take care.